Hey everyone, it's Shoutjoker here, and welcome to a video. Feels kind of weird saying that. But before we get into the meat of what I want to talk about today, I'd like to quickly apologize for um my absence recently. I've been meaning to get out videos for you guys, it's just... I've been lazy and procrastinating. It's something I really shouldn't do, considering... I'm hoping to one day turn this channel into something I can make money off of, just because it's always been my dream. I, I really should be more active in making videos than I am. Also, something I noticed recently, as much as I am proud of the progress I've made over these, what, like two years of making content? My stuff's kind of boring. I mean, there isn't much I can do visually, considering I'm recording off my fucking Android. But... I don't even bother to play music, and that's something I want to rectify starting now. So, going forward, I want to play, like, background music for, like, pretty much all my videos, so... Well, obviously, except less Place, because those already have background noise in that recording game, but, like, that's besides the point. And wait, on the way we want to talk about today. Now, this isn't something I feel I need to talk about, considering the size of my channel, even if I do make a video that's a serious subject. People aren't going to see it, besides, so like, handful of people maybe but it's something that I want to talk about and I feel it's well, at least one portion of this video is kind of serious also something I should address this isn't your normal countdown reviewer let's play this is honestly a video intent just to spruce up the variety in this channel because to be honest just mostly Let's Plays and then occasionally account their review is also kind of boring. I want to do different topics. Of just, well, more so genres of video, not topics. There are some topics that I couldn't really do in a countdown or review that I want to talk about. So I want to use these sort of videos for that. Might become a series, it might be a one off thing. Honestly, it depends on how this video does and if I just want to make more. Anyway, on to the topic of this video. Mischaracterization, which is going to be a bulk of this video, by fans. And stan culture. I see this a lot just going on Twitter. And it's just something I wanted to address. And I figured... A video would be the best way to do that. Besides, it give you guys who watch my channel something to, you know, consume. So let's start off with discussing my problems with stan culture. Because, uh, like I stated before, mischaracterization characterization of, like, of characters by fans is going to be the what the bulk of this episode is. Now, to give some background about what I'm talking about, what is the stan? I hear, like, Jimothy in the back saying. Because at this point, I feel like most people, if you use the internet on a somewhat regular basis, you know what a stan is. And considering this image has been on screen for a while, you probably know as well, but... I'm still gonna say it because, you know what, I, I need to make sure everyone knows what I'm talking about. Stan is pretty much internet slang for a stalker fan, or super fan, whatever you want to call it. Pretty much crazed and obsessed about something. It could be a character, an actual person. That And I'm certainly not the first person to say that. It's a pretty bad thing, because, well, they're, they're crazy as all hell. 
And I, I just want to talk about it. So we're going to talk about it. Now what sparked me to want to talk about this on my YouTube channel? Normally I just talk about things I like. Why, why, why am I talking about stands? Well, I want to discuss this, but... What mainly sparked the idea in my mind for doing this on the channel was Twitter. A couple of my Twitter moots ironically tweet a lot about Dream SMP and all its members, like big Minecraft YouTubers nowadays. And sometimes it's not so ironic and it's more so just Jesus Christ stands are just the, the worst things ever. And, you know, seeing all of that, I, I just want to address it. So, now, before we get into my issues with how some of these people handle their fans, what do I think of them as people and content creators? Well, I'm not subscribed to any one of them, and I haven't really seen any of their content outside the snippets I've seen from the Dream SMP from Matt Pat's video on it. So I obviously I don't hold any ill will towards its members. I have gotten a taste of what Dream is like from the Among Us videos he's been with Jack and the Minecraft. Theory collab he did with MatPat, but obviously I'm not a fan nor hater of any of these guys. But there is one thing I want to address. Address. I don't typically know a lot of information about most of these guys, except Dream and Tommy in it. I I hope I'm saying that right. I apologize. <laughs> If I'm saying that wrong, what's my information I know about them? That they're minors. And they have these crazy fans. I mean, pretty much everyone who has crazy fans. Well, no, no, let me rephrase that. Everyone who gets big on pretty much any platform, not even just YouTube, gets super crazy stalker fans but some of them get rather sexual post sexual fantasies about minors and it it really disheartens me it's not like people being corny on twitter about a fictional character who happens to be a teenager those aren't real people so that Unless they're portrayed to be a child, what in that fictional work, I really couldn't care less. These are real human beings, and that really concerns me. It's like back in the day when people shit Mark and Yak. I was a stupid kid at the time, so I didn't really have an opinion on it. But yeah, I acknowledge now that was fucking stupid. The Ed World stuff where they, they went after one of the people who was a character at the show because they ruined their ship. That is not okay. You can act this way about characters. Sure, it'll be a little weird, but like, I'm not gonna stop you. When you get to real people, minors. People who do not have fully functioning brains yet. That is when I take issue. And of course these two creators have gone in various ways about it. Let's start with the better of the two. Tommy. Tommy has acknowledged. Hey we're minors. Don't ship us or post your fantasies about us. It's, it's not okay. We're... Not legal. Well, Dream... Dream kind of just bats an eye at it. Well, oh, oh. Am, I, am I using that phrase right? I don't know. My point is I doesn't really care. And he says, Ah, oh, but it's 
It's love from the fans. Yeah, it's love from the fans, but it's also kind of legal. I mean, obviously, if someone posts sexual fantasies about Minecraft YouTuber, I'm not going to take them to court. That, that'd be fucking stupid. <laughs> but I just don't understand why Green just ignores it. Really, dude, this is a serious problem. And even though I don't really care about any of these creators, I have to commend Tommy for actually acknowledging that his stands and just the stands who ship him and have sexual fantasies are a huge problem and need to be addressed. So, yeah, that's my take on stand culture and all. Like, I think it's very toxic. People will dox and harass you in some cases if you're a prominent public figure. Maybe even try to cancel you because you said dream bad. Anyway, on to the bulk of this video. Mischaracterization of characters by fans. This is nowhere near as serious as the previous topic. But it's still something I want to address because, well, it's just something I want to talk about. That's all. It's not anywhere near serious. If you want my serious take on stand culture, that's all you want from this video, feel free to click off. I understand as well. But obviously, even though this should be pretty obvious, I still have to spell it out for little Jimothy in the back. What does Miss... What is mischaracterization? Pretty much when you take a character from an already existing work and pretty much butcher them, whether it be for your own fan work or just when discussing them on the internet. As someone does deep dives the characters and just analyzes them because I have nothing better to do with my time, never see someone miss. What the, what the point of a character is so hard, it just grinds my gears. So I wanted to discuss it. And there are going to be various examples throughout this video, so don't you worry. Let's start off with the one that I first thought of when picking out examples for this video. Nagito Kamaida and Kokichi Oma from Danganronpa. Nagito is personally my favorite character in all of Danganronpa and probably one of my favorite fictional characters of all time if I really thought about it. So when people mischaracterize him, I want to bash my head against the wall. And Sam Kokichi, I don't really have that many feelings for Kokichi right now since I haven't properly played V3. I know the basics of his character, but I don't know... Like, in-depth what he's all about since I haven't played the game yet. But I do feel like I have enough information to discuss him in this video. These are like the crazy guys who are rivals to you. I'm mainly going to be bringing up examples from the game for Nagito because once again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I have not played P3. And yes, that means don't spoil in the fucking comments. Stupid Nagito, the insane man who just relied on luck with Russian roulette. Who, when there was only one bullet out of the revolver, he he survived. Oh, and all his case five shenanigans, where where he um, let's see, tried to kill everyone just to get. Except the traitor because he found out the truth. Oh crap, I should have put a spoiler warning. I'll, I'll try and do that in editing even though my editor sucks. Okay, I'll, I'll, oh shit, yeah, I should probably, you know. <laughs> Bad worry on my part, I don't actually have an editor, it's just editing software, okay. 
But what do the fans typically see Nagito and Kokichi as? Uwu soft gay boys. What? You're, you're, you're telling me that Nagito is just an uwu soft gay boy? No. No, I think I'm done. I think I'm... I think I'm done! So, uh, yeah. I, I got, got kind of worked out there. Deep breath. Now, what is the problem with this? Reality. Everything is wrong with this. But, let's try and be civil about it. I can understand from what I've... Scene of Nagito's free time events. She got all his hope shards. Stern Lie says that would make him well, well, sing a, swing a certain way. It's probably the best way I'm going to be able to say that. But he is not Uwu soft gay boy. Neither is Kokichi. Where did we even get this idea? Oh yeah, fa fans who... Just always ship characters who are clearly at each other's, each other's throats most of the time with each other. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Why? I, I mean, of course, I'm not going to stop you from shipping. Like, why? Well, not that smart guy. But, like, At least try and remain accurate to the character for your ships, man. This doesn't hinder my opinion, Nagito. I still think he's like the best Rin Dang and Rapa character. Why go online to discuss him? A lot of people are just like, Ooh, you like gay boy? I'm just, just sh sh shut up. I just gave my whole spiel about this example and I realized I was paused the whole time. So I have to go through it again. As you can see on screen, this next example is Freddy Fazbear, but more so the whole Freddy Fazbear gang. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Particularly from the first game, since there's like 50, 100 renditions of these characters at this point. And this is not an example because it's technically mischaracterization, but it's an odd example in the sense that I want to use it as an example of how mischaracterization can actually be kind of good. That's not something I had expected to say when I first got this video idea, but when I was brainstorming examples and the Fazbear gang popped into my head, I realized, oh wait, there isn't much bad I can say since there isn't much of the original characters. Of course, nowadays, we get very different interpretations of characters, especially with Security Breach. It seems like every main stage animatronic is going to have some level of personality, considering what's going on there. And, char and we have characters like Funtime Freddy, who, who's just... Barfing out personality all over the floor. But the original gang kind of just sat there and stared. They didn't have much going for them. Personality-wise, they're still pretty scary horror enemies. But the fans decided, hey, you know what? What are we just going to do with just discussing these lifeless... Robots who kind of just stand there. Skin personalities. And even though it's nothing too deep. Like a anime villain backstory level stuff. They don't need it. They're, they're like children's entertainment robots. They don't need a anime backstory. And one channel particularly thrived off of this. Eth Goes Boom. And even though, once again, his personalities that he gave for the animatronics aren't all that deep, his channel was mainly alive and thriving. His channel was still alive after this. 
even though it's not really that alive, it's, 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 it's kind of walking, but not so much. Nowadays, as, as I should clarify, it's still like the dude's content, not throwing jabs. He was able to give personalities to characters who hadn't talked before. And some of them are kind of basic, yeah, but... Still, given the amount of characters he was given to work with, and everyone still feels... Though, while some are similar, some are still very... They're still very distinct. I have to give props to ETH. He did a really good job. Of course, with how he designed his channel, it kind of bam in the backside when the animatronic plays videos just weren't doing so well, so he's switched to just his, just him, but of course, since he built the channel off the animatronics being, like, there and having their various personalities be the video, when he was there, most people just wouldn't watch. He explains why he has his own channel for his own content and makes animatronic videos. And this is probably the biggest example of how mischaracterization of characters is honestly a positive. He makes characters who I would only really consider I like their design to where generally when I think of some of these early animatronics I think of the personality ETH gave to them. I think of T. Freddy as a Porsche British. No, Toy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Toy Freddy. I'm just gonna clarify Toy Freddy just in case. Toy Freddy as a Porsche British man. And it's all thanks to ETH's videos. He did a really good job of giving these bland animatronics characters. And once again, he deserves props for that. And the last example I'm going to go with is Sans, Sans Undertale. The internet has only done so much harm to him. Now, it wasn't all that bad when Undertale was just starting to get its first strides and people like Jack played the game because that's back when everyone... Didn't just assume what Undertale characters really thought and felt. And for reference, Sans is my favorite Undertale character. So this also kind of hurts me. Back then, he was just the lazy bones who... Once you kill literally... A joke, I should also add very joking lazy bones. Who is ruined for you. Assuming you don't kill his brother, of course. When you kill everyone, he actually puts in some effort and is one of the hardest boss fights in gaming history, which I beat. I know I literally made a video where the night of that I beat Sans, and me just going, yes, I did it. Because, to be honest, I was doing that for, like, the better portion of a year, and I was finally able to beat him, and it just felt so good. So I wanted to brag about it. But I never actually brought it up verbally in the video. So yeah, I beat Sans and it was one of the best feelings of my life. And funnily enough, as of recording this video, it's almost been a year since I beat him. Coincidence, I guess. Well, I... Well, some parts of the actual loyal Undertale fandom can keep his character intact... There are some scandalous parts of the internet which ruin him and it makes me feel so bad. They also kind of make sense in Wu Gay Boy and it, it isn't as bad as Nagito because I feel that this part of the internet is ironic but... Using Sans as an ooh gay boy when he has a very heavily hinted relationship with Toriel. It's a very large coffee stain 
on his what is otherwise a decently solid reputation. Of course, there are the fangirls, which drew just other just scandalous art that I don't want to see ever. Like, genuinely, th th this horrifies me. Get that away from me. Where the goose stands with, uh... Well, well, if you've seen it, you see it. I, I want I want to keep my channel on the internet. So I'm not even gonna... Not gonna show you an image of it. And I'm not gonna mention it besides this. Now, when I was looking for images to use in this footage, I found... Sanson Nagito's wiki. Again, it's the ironic part. She's just sad. But, uh... Yeah. Sans is a great character. You can look past how the internet just... Treats him like shit. Even though he's from one of the most popular games in recent years. But to be honest, I feel like that's the only major examples I could find. Only like three and four could count Kokichi and Nagito separate examples. And also you could count the whole Fast Bear gang, but since I since I talked about pretty much a majority of a franchise's character roster there, I feel like you could count that as one example. But yeah, that's the end of the video, and I just like to commend how I was expecting when thinking of examples of how many more I could potentially find. And sure, if I thought really hard, maybe I could list off JoJo characters, maybe. But overall, I feel like even though there are a couple very, very bad ex very bad, uh, like, mischaracterization examples, like, like that I mentioned in this video, from what I've seen on the internet, people tend to characterize their characters well, and they tend to represent what that character stands for, at least when discussing that character, I, do. I doubt that people who really like the Chaz real life just Go up in the streets and shout the Chaz. But anyway, that's the end of the video. If you want to see more discussion videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys for whatever my next video is. It might be a major video, might be a return to the Paper Mario LP. We'll see. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.